Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Just getting out a shipment of two items that are going out to the same buyer as a combined postage situation. First item is TP10, which is a Lululemon Athletica vest or singlet. And then JJ6, which is Lululemon Athletica again, puffer vest. They both sold to the same person. Puffer vest. My mum was just give, bagging me so much today. It's so funny. She's like, Papa Vest, as I said that, because she's in the market. She wants me to keep an eye out for her at the thrift. A Kathmandu vest for a woman. This is a men's one, so it doesn't fit her. But she's just making sure that I remember to keep an eye out for her. Specifically, Kathmandu puffer vest or puffer jacket for a, a lady. So, thanks, mum. <laughs> Speak until I'm done. Also got a box, a shipment to get out to FBA as well, or some inventory. Whew. I just got the shipment out, but I wanted to update you guys with what book I'm reading at the moment. I'm listening to The Science of Getting Rich. I just purchased it this morning on audible.com. This is, this is probably my third book within about a week and a half. I've really been pounding down um, the audio books lately. I'm just turning my car into like a classroom on wheels. Obviously travel takes a lot of time out of the day for me So I'm just trying to utilize that time as much. Okay guys, so first thrift for today was pretty good I picked up some shoes that had eight bucks on them and I ended up paying four dollars They were half off the shoes here. They are they're a pair of Reeboks. These are the Reebok pumps now the pumps have these little pump things here, which you press down I don't know the technology or like science if there is any behind it. I think this is separating here both shoes are separating at the back or or that just could be the design I'm not sure I had a good feel around just to see if everything was intact because these older shoes seem to fall to bits sometimes but these are pretty sick shoes I've picked up a fluoro pair which weren't high tops they were low rise ones and they sold for about a hundred and they were probably better condition and just more aesthetically pleasing than these ones were so I'm gonna try at a minimum of like 40 but I reckon I could probably put these up up to 70 maybe we'll see I gotta do more research Alright guys, I'm in one of the thrifts here, check this out. Mambo t-shirt from 2001. It's got a wicked print on the back with the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Blood, sweat and beer. Pretty sick piece. Then I just got two Aaron Williams women's shirts. Not a bad find there. That's a sick tee. Guys, I've been to a few thrifts and I've been doing pretty damn well. i got to update you guys and show you what I've picked up. First off is these J's which are in the back there. And I need your help to confirm if they're legit and what model they are if they are because I'm pretty sure they are legit. I paid four bucks for them. Here they are. I'm pretty sure I'm able to make some profit on it. They have CP here on the tongue of it and it has like a pretty cool pattern along there. Uh, I don't even know what they are. So if you guys know anything at all about these specific shoes, drop a comment below. I paid four bucks for them. Normally, I just look it up by the tag here, but the tag seems to have sort of been ripped off. Or it's folded in on itself. It's not folded in on itself, it's just been cut somehow. I might look up the barcode number, but it's pretty worn down, so I can't really read it. So if you guys have any knowledge about these specific shoes, let me know. I also picked up... Some stuff here, which is which is on the passenger seat. Some polos, some big pony polos, and then I picked up this G-Star Raw denim jacket, which is pretty sick. Uh, this should be about a $50 jacket or so, or a bit more. We'll see how that one goes. This is the stuff that I showed you, the Mambo shirt and stuff, in that other thrift. And then I just went into another thrift and I popped on some RM Williams extra extra large shirt, $2.50. It's like a $30 shirt there. And then also just a G-Star Raw brand new with tags. Uh, just a shirt. This is extra large. I paid like two bucks for that. Should be like 15 to 20. We'll see. I'm on my way to another thrift, guys. Just thrifting it up again today. Just thrifting, thrifting, and more thrifting. But the science of getting rich is a very good read. I'm loving it so far. It's given some really good tips. Salvos has been treating me pretty well. Just popped into there, 
I'm gonna show you what I picked up again. Um, so I picked up two pairs of nudie jeans. So one of them is Thin Fin, the other one is Grim Tim. Both good jeans. I paid $7.25 for each pair. They have a minimum of about 30 bucks each, but they may be higher. And then we also have a pretty cool Harley Davidson t-shirt. It's got like this really cool print on the back. And then it's just got a smaller version of that print at the front of it as well. It's like a streetwear design, Harley Davidson, size large. It's like a $20 shirt there, that was like five bucks. But these shoes are something that I have no idea what they're worth. But the brand is Paul and Shark. I'm just trying to get them out of the light in a good spot. This brand is pretty awesome when it comes to shirts and jackets. I just recently sold a jacket for 50 bucks for this brand, but I've never never seen this brand in shoes before so i'm just thinking just from that analysis that these are somewhat rare there's no comps at all on ebay australia for pull and shark shoes so these have i don't know i'm thinking a minimum of 50 bucks worth I paid ten dollars 25 but they could be a lot more we'll have to see Please, I'd refuse to go. drink it from a cast and iron blade instead of coal I've just hit up a few other thrifts and I picked up some shirts and some other stuff as well. But I am making my way back home to get this stuff listed and up for sale by probably the end of tonight. I want to try and get some merch designs done and up because. I have been successful with a particular design and I want to create similar styles of that design or that sort of niche and create more merch shirts around those. See how I go with that. But it's been a pretty good day today. I'm getting home for some dinner. Alright guys, I'm working on getting the listings done for the stuff that I picked up today. Doing all the measurements now and then I'll be taking the photos of them later. But that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along today's vlog. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's one. Bye.